Kuzu Zangpola, this week in the business file, we have Mr. Sonam Topge, the Chief Executive Officer of Nubri Capital. It is the first private limited company which is engaged in the asset and fund management. So, sir, could you tell us about it? How do you manage assets and funds? Well, uh, thank you for having me on the show. Uh, fund management is the professional management of funds uh, in order to meet specified investment goals for the benefit of investors. And investors can be anybody. It can be individuals, uh, corporations, collective funds, uh, or uh, any other, any, any big and large organizations. Uh, Nubri Capital will help, the, uh, will help investors uh, make investment goals by, uh, by, uh, by, by advising them and helping them invest in, in risk-free, in not risk-free, but in uh, safe, safe, uh, safe uh, ventures and uh, and hopefully maximize the return return in this process so when you are talking about risk free you also mean that you also advise your clients to go invest in areas where there are lucrative returns so how do you look into all that well um, th there is nothing risk free well in life but uh, we we as a fund manager Will help minimize the risks. Now, there's a big difference in um, in saying something's risk-free because nothing is really. And any investment you make, you all, there is always a risk. And uh, as uh, as you may know, uh, higher the risk, more the return. But however, uh, we are here as an invest uh, as a fund management and help. We will be helping investors invest and not speculate. So. We, we we will uh, we'll, we we will be looking for uh, investments, safe investments in say in, in institutions or, or companies, or organizations, or it could be any uh, any other projects, large projects, uh, and we will be uh, looking at the, the track record, the history, how they have been working, uh, the financial statements, how have how they performed the last few years. And uh, hopefully, uh, using this information, hopefully we could uh, we could we could help our investors make, make safer I investments in, in these, you know, in a, in a large portfolio. So asset and fund management company, this is first of its kind. And what encourages you to come up with a company like this in Bhutan? Well, Bhutan is a growing economy and uh, it is true this is the first of its kind within the country. Um, the rest of the world, it, it has existed for a long time. And uh, the, and uh, the progress, the economic progress that has made over the years in, in this country, uh, it was about time that we had s started a fund management company in, in Bhutan. That way, you supplement the, the existing financial institutions and uh, help them take care of the inefficiencies that is that 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 exists. Now, um, so uh, so th this is how we uh, we. This is how this was the idea behind starting this fund management company. It was, it was pr primarily, uh, primarily done to supplement the existing financial institutions and hopefully uh, taking care of the in, uh, the inefficiencies and and making it a more efficient system and uh, and uh, contributing to the uh, economic growth of the, of the country. So we have Royal Security Exchange of Bhutan, which looks after the capital market in the country as of now. So how are you going to add value to this existing company? How does it work? Any time you invest, you you need a portfolio of, of investments. And then uh, how you design your portfolio is you try to minimize risk. And the way you minimize it is by diversifying. And uh, you could diversify it. Uh, you could have a basic in, in, you could invest in debt instruments. You could invest in, uh, in, in uh, in, in stocks, uh, and uh, Nubri Capital, what as a fund manager, manager, we we will be looking forward to diversifying all our risks, and the way we do, we, we would achieve that is by by uh, by having a portfolio of debt instruments and then also in, in stocks, and. Uh, uh, as you know, the capital market we have about 20, 20 stocks, 20 odd stocks mm -hmm. over here, and listed in securities exchange. And if and if and when opportunity arises, we will be investing, investing in these stocks. Well, will you also help the stock market to be more vibrant, in any ways? Well, um, or let's say in general, a company like this, you know. Well, let's say it. it 
there's not a lot of trading that goes on. And uh, I mean, that could be due to the nature of uh, complacent. Maybe you know, people are complacent. Uh, it, it could be due to many things. And uh, we, we hope to play an active role in this by trying to buy and sell shares as and when opportunity arises. Um, we uh, now, now, how effective we will be, what one cannot say, but we hope to make it more active by mm -hmm. trying to be taken active by participating in it actively, uh, you know, by having an, an active participation where we, we you know, we, we hope to generate interest and then hopefully have, have more liquidity in, 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 the, in this capital market. So, when you have set up a company, like a capital market, uh, capital, something like Nubri Capital, which looks after assets and uh, fund management. Now, how do you make money out of it? Is it like you take charge fees or you take some part of the returns? Yes, well, uh, the, the, the primary idea behind this is you, you seek out investors and then we make investments on the behalf. Now, uh, the profit that is generated from the investments will be shared. So, it will be shared with the investors. And then, uh, as a fund management, we may be charging a small fee, uh, fee to make to for operational, for the operational, uh, op for the operations of the company. Yes, so uh, there may, there are a few several ways of uh, of generating income for the company. One is, as you said, through uh, through a small fee. The other one is also through uh, the sharing of profits when investments are made. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the investor, how for the investor, uh, how we could do, how we could, how we could help benefit the investors is uh, by uh, by uh, by guaranteeing them a fixed return, or we could say, uh, you know, we could have a profit sharing basis mm -hmm. where we could, where you where they invest invest the money, we could make the investments, and then all the profit that is made could be shared. Mm -hmm. So there are many ways of of uh, generating income for the company uh, that's Newbury Capital. And for the investors, mm -hmm. now uh, the late on on our latest product, or uh, in fact our first product, it's called the Nubri Tsukde One. Mm -hmm. And Nubri Tsukde One, what it is is it's an interinstitutional fund. That way, we'll be investing in institutions that safe institutions uh, and with well, good with good reputation, with a good track record. And uh, in this, what how Nubri will be. The investors can benefit from Nubri by uh, we Nubri will be uh, guaranteeing them a four percent return. This is a guaranteed return, in addition to seventy percent of the of the gross margin that is the profits that's made on the investments. Now, so what, what that that would mean is, uh, say, you'd invest one hundred neutrum, four uh, percent would be guaranteed. Neutrum four neutrum would be guaranteed. Plus 20% of the profits, 70% uh, of the profits. Now, say the profit is neutron 20 for the year. So, what what an investor will be receiving is uh, neutron 4, which is guaranteed, plus 14 neutron, the profit. So, in, in total, the investor is receiving about 80 neutron from the 100 neutron that is being invested. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this will be the benefit to the investors. Yes. So you're talking particularly about the one product that you have. Yes, th that is one product. Uh, new uh, yes, uh, Nubri Tsukde one. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Nubri Tsukde one is a close-ended, close-ended fund. Uh, a close-ended fund is there are two types of funds. It's there's an open-ended and close-ended. Now the close-ended fund is uh, it, it's the uh, the initial the investment uh, the uh, <coughs> the what you have initial to invest the minimum to yes to the minimum investment will be will be high. It'll be open to a closed closed uh, close, uh, <coughs> group of investors only. So it'll be uh, high net worth individuals, it could be uh, institutions, uh, one with, with a large, fairly large capital base. How, uh, and and w what, in general, what, what defines uh, how a closed-ended fund works is uh, there is a lock-in pe period, say for three years, took the ones for three years. And uh, <coughs> once the shares are bought, the uh, the capital will be locked in for three years. The, obviously, the returns will be made annually, uh, or every three months or six months, uh, you know, depending on how the fund is designed. And uh, and 
for, for a period of three years, the capital, capital will not be redeemed, the company will not redeem the capital to the investors. However, investors can trade, trade these shares amongst each other. So say the two of us are investors, and then I'd want to, you'd want to sell your shares, you could sell it to me or another investor. And uh, so th this, is, th this, is, this is how a closed-ended fund would work. As opposed to, say, an open-ended fund, it will, be, uh, it, will be, uh, it will be available in the market, it will be in the stock market. And any number of, anyone can buy, the, uh, the minimum amount to invest would be low. So it could be about 1,000, 10,000, 15,000 you know, annual. Or there could be plans on how you could buy it, you could, you could deposit some money every month for the year. So th there are many plans, and this is more open to the public. And uh, the and and what, what an open-ended fund does is the investors can redeem the share, sell their shares anytime they'd like. For example, I had um, if I had one million intro, I wish I had that money. But with that money, if I had to come to your company, what should what should I do? Well. Uh, after you contact us, we, we'll, 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 uh, we'll show you a plan, a portfolio. We'll, we'll let you know how to invest the money, depending on how you feel. And we'll show you all the investment schemes. And we'll ask you to, uh, we'll say, okay, we'll suggest some options, depending on what you'd like. And uh, w once the decision has been made, we will make the investments on your behalf. And uh, if it's a close-ended fund, we, we'll have an invest agreement with you, where we can say, okay, um, You've invested a million neutron with us, and the investors made in these funds, and then uh, you know you received the your capital, uh, your your investment, the principal amount after after the period you know the term period is over, and then every three to six months you'll be receiving your uh, the, the returns, the the uh, the, inf uh, the interest, you know, the profit, gross margin that's generated. So th this is how 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 we'll be doing will, it. Will I have a reason to worry? Yes, uh, it, it is a good question. It's understandable that uh, since we are new, there's a lot of not a lot of confidence in us. Uh, the market, the investors will be a little skeptical. We um, we obviously there's more confidence in the existing financial institutions, the banks, the insurance companies, because they've been existing for a long time, and. Uh, and it, it is it is understandable that that investors will be a little skeptical. However, having said that, uh, we are we are a RMA licensed company. Uh, we we follow the same. We are regulated by them. Um, there's there's there may be subtle differences in uh, in the way we are regulated as a fund management as opposed to a bank. But uh, as as far as the uh, in investors are concerned, uh, it, it will be our duty to uh, to make safe investments, uh, safe investments. Um, we'll not be speculating. The investments we'll make will be into, in, into safe institutions, companies, uh, safe ventures. There's a lot of due diligence that is done before we make investments. We we do we do the homework. We we study the, the companies. Uh, we study the finance statements, and uh, w without due diligence, we will not be investing. Um, th this works two ways. Um, the better investors make, the safer investors make, we build confidence in the market. And that way, we, we attract, uh, we generate more profit for, for the investors and for us. Uh, and I, I, I can assure you that uh, all the investments that we make will be into safe, reliable products. Uh, the, all the investments will be very safe. You know, ob obviously, as a business, you're in here, you're in here to succeed, to, to, to do well. However, we also have another. We also look at it as having another role, as you suggest, as you said, uh, rightly said. Uh, we are the first fund managing company in Bhutan, and we will have to be very diligent. Very, we need to work hard, and then uh, very. Uh, and hopefully set set away for uh, for for this for this type of industry. Now, no doubt, mistakes will be made on the way. And uh, once mistakes are made, it'll be up to us how fast we can pick pick ourselves up and and you know continue and, and adapt adapt to the to, to these changes. Now, one interesting thing that I have uh, noticed is uh, it's good like a young and then a person like you has ventured into a business like this, taking all the risks but looks like you have idea of what you're doing. But do we have a conducive atmosphere that 
in the country for a company like this to come up? Are we prepared? Well, um, hopefully we, we are. Uh, Bhutan, we, we are a small country, small economy. And, uh, and however, there are inefficiencies like anywhere else in any system, there are inefficiencies. And uh, as, as, I, as, I, as I said, uh, we are here to supplement the existing financial institutions. So, so, so what, what, what the way we see it is we are here to make it a more efficient system. And then we take advantage of the inefficiencies in the system and uh, hopefully make, uh, make sound investment, uh, investments on behalf of the investors. So yes. Uh, uh, did, did you face any challenge? Uh, well, it's every day is a challenge. It's, it's a challenge to uh, uh, it is a challenge to attract investors. Uh, as a fund management, there's two challenges for us. One is to make to look for investments, and then the second one is to make the investments. Now, um, uh, <coughs> both of them are different type of. It's it's a little different. Yes, it's challenge. Uh, but did you face a challenge when you are trying to establish the company or come up with the company? Uh, well, it's 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 always hard trying to come up with something new. Uh, but however, uh, we have been very fortunate that our, the Royal Monetary Authority has been very helpful, and uh, and uh, they have they have given us good guidance. So it it they made it very uh, well. They made it a lot easier, let's say, than uh, it would have been. So uh, yes, it was hard, but uh, I I'm grateful that we are grateful to the RMA for helping us th throughout the process. But just now you were saying that you just have one product, but what I found out is you also had proposed for some other products. What's happening there? Yes. Um, see, now the, the, the RMA also has a role. Uh, they know that we are the first company and now it is up to them. They are trying to make certain that we succeed. That way, once we succeed, we show the, we show the country and the rest of the world that, that, uh, that an industry like this are or business ventures like this would work in Bhutan. So, so far we have about six or seven products that we have submitted them. The first one, Nubritsukti one, they have approved, and then hopefully they'll approve, uh, approve the rest of them you know, in time. So just now, oh, how many clients do you have? Right now, we've, uh, uh, until now, we got the product approved this week, so we, uh, we have potential clients, a number of potential clients who are all on, on who have been uh, we've been talking to, and they are ready to come on board. We uh, we have uh, investment avenues where we're going to invest. It'll be in, in like, as as took the ones in institution fund. We have talked to institutions who who are in need of uh, capital, and it's only a matter of time before uh, the business starts taking off. Probably you don't want to name which company is your client right now, but uh, I've heard that there's uh, there are clients who are, who have well established in the country. Yes. You have them as your client. Yes. But what I was looking at is uh, uh, by 2014, a lot of non-FIS, non-financial institutions are not allowed to loan money like yes. they used to do in the past. So yes. what kind of future do you see then for a company like who manages capital? If, if that happens, we'd obviously work together with them and then uh, it hopefully it'd be a win-win situation for them and for us. Uh, just because we are a fund management company it does not mean that they, they will have to work with us because there are a number of options. And we are just, an, we are just one of the uh, options. options for them. And uh, we'd, we'd welcome to work with them and uh, hopefully have a, have and uh, create a win-win situation for, for the both of us. So you also have other products. Do you, would you like to talk about it? Uh, yes, right now we, we are not allowed to advertise or go market them because uh, the RMA has not approved them yet but but I can give you an idea on, on what, what some of them are uh, as you know it's a good one's closed ended fund so it'll be close to a limited number of individuals uh, maybe high net worth uh, large corporations companies people can afford basically uh, and uh, and it is also our, our goal to involve more people the general public so we have designed open ended funds where people can come and invest uh, can come and invest with us, but at the lower, uh, you know, the the capital requirements are lower, much lesser, <coughs> and be more open, and then safer for them to in, invest in. Uh, we, we have we have designed some pension schemes, funds, 
submitted uh, proposals for uh, securitization uh, of, of uh, real estate. We, we are also uh, have been working on uh, on a social mobility funds. So th these are some of the products we have, and uh, not obviously not, ob not not all of them are for. You know, it's targeted towards certain investors, uh, de and depending on the type of returns or type of uh, the type of uh, goals those investors have. So um, uh, w in time we will be, and after it's been approved, we'll be launching it in the market. Yes. But when you have put so many proposals? and then only one is approved, isn't that going to hamper your business? Well, it, it does slow down the business a bit. Uh, if they approve it, we could have launched more products. However, they, they do have a duty to the country, responsibility to the country in, in order to do, uh, they, they need to do due diligence to the products, products we, we, are, we are submitting or we are proposing. And uh, I, 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 I believe that it's, it's it is good that they're taking the time because they're making it safe for people to invest. They're making certain that uh, Newbury Capital will not, it is, this is not a scam, they're making certain that it, it, is, a bonif it, is, a, it is a real product and then it'll work. Mm -hmm. And uh, it takes, it is the time, there's a time issue, but the longer time it takes, we launch less products. However, I think in the long run, it'll benefit Newbury Capital and the country. Mm -hmm in the long run. Mm -hmm. uh, by when they are but taking time? Yes, by taking the time, yes. To scrutinize, scrutinize. the that you have proposed. Yes, yes. And that way it's, it's even, uh, in a way, it's, it's helped for us to market mm -hmm. too. We said this is, a, this is an RMA scrutinized product and it is safe. Mm -hmm. uh, RMA has done its due diligence, mm -hmm. so it, it helps us ma market, yes. So what is the existing strength of this company? Uh, right now in terms of, let's say, finance, uh, you could talk about the finance or the manpower. We, uh, we have a good team right now. So we are working on computer systems where um, we, we, we will help service the, uh, the customers better. So we are, uh, it'll be maybe in about two months, we'll be launching a, a system where uh, if you're a client, we'll give you a login and a password. Mm -hmm. And then you could come in, log in, and see where your investments were made, where your funds have gone, how much uh, the profit you're generating, what you'll be receiving end of the year. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then it'll be all be uh, linked up with the accounting systems, the payroll systems. Uh, so, so we, we have a good team over here. So, do you also have a limit of uh, thing, amount to be invested? Since Sukde One is uh, Sukde One is a closed-ended fund, I uh, the minimum investment will be uh, no from five thousand. Uh, initially, we thought it was we'd make it two hundred fifty thousand, but uh, since closed-ended, it's supposed to be more restrictive. So, uh, we it, it, we you know. 500,000 uh, after negotiating with RMA, after talking with RMA, uh, it was, uh, we made it 500,000. Uh, for some of the open-ended funds, it'll be as less as 10,000 per, per year. So you're al also trying to encourage people who wants to save? Right, yes. So what, what kind of clients do you think will come forward, in, in your opinion? What is the picture that you have? Well, uh, in, in the closed center, uh, we, we we, there'd be companies, uh, high net worth individuals, uh, and basically mostly organizations. Uh, you know, the funds within the companies, we could, we could have those, uh, and c collective funds, um, and a group of people could form a fund and then give it to us. Um, for open ended, it could be, uh, it'll be open throughout the country, it'll be any individual that could come, and then we are, ho we are hopeful that. Uh, you know, everybody in the country would participate in some of these open-end funds. So you're basically helping people who doesn't have any idea of investment, but they have money, and maybe they don't have time to go and look, look for areas where it is lucrative, where they have a lucrative return or not, whether it's risky or not. So that is where we come in, in a simple term. Is that so? Uh, yes, yes. In, in, in a nutshell, yes. Um, anytime you make investments, it takes a lot of time. It, it is not it is not easy making investments and you're trying to invest in the future. Now, any time you invest in the future, you, you, nobody can predict the future, so you don't, you, it takes a lot of time and then conviction and the hard work and the research to actually make an investment. Now, uh, as you said, uh, not many people have time. You know, they're working, doing other things, and this is where we come in. We'll help them with investment, de investment uh, decisions and uh, plans and, and uh, hopefully advise them 
in the past what i have noticed is when a lot of company came up with this prospectus to float up shares in the market of course the prospectus looks very look nice and attractive but what kind of role can you play there to give a sound and can you give a sound advice to clients who wants to invest there because what happened was when a coca cola company started in bhutan when people looked at the pros- prospectus they everybody wanted to invest it but the kind of product they were producing at that time and the market we had you know people did, didn't see that kind of risk coming up so how can you be of help in that area a- any time you make uh, any time you make investments it there is always a risk to it sometimes it works and and sometimes it it it, it does not now on 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 our part as uh, on the advising part of nubri capital what what we can do is we can uh, <coughs> we we, all, we can do, do a study a detailed analysis of, of of the of the proposal and then and then just and then help make make help people make a decision on that mm-hmm. now I, i'm not certain why uh, the coca cola company uh, did not succeed it happens uh, sometimes ventures work and sometimes th- they do not mm-hmm. and uh as as far as nubri is concerned and how you know we we will in to a best of our ability help help uh, investors make sound investment decision uh, decisions mm-hmm. so what are the future plans well uh the, the future we uh we we hope to launch a products that's the immediate future and in the in the in the far future we hope we hope to uh, establish nubri as an institution so that people that's that someone looks up to and then trusts when you, when they talk of nubri c- capital and uh, we and uh, we we hope to help in the economic growth of the country by bringing in more investments by making by letting people play an active role in the economic growth of the country um you know anytime uh, in investments are made when people make you we make it back in the economy and then that makes the economy grow so we hope to play a role in that sense and uh and hopefully we we succeed in 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 doing all that thank you very much for joining us sir thank you for having uh, me yes. uh, best of luck uh, thank you so much and that was mr sonam tobke the chief executive officer of nubri capital the first asset and fund management company in, in the country i'm your host ashok tirwa this is goodbye